a day let's talk about overall 3D world. I'll give you some tips and tricks which will increase your productivity and I'll give you an idea what it takes to be a professional 3D artist. This tutorial is not only for Blender users and Arquis artists, so you can use it on any 3D field and also on any 3D software. So first tip would be about using texture maps. Keep in mind that texture maps play a huge role at making renders realistic, so be very specific at choosing textures which will be applied on a surface. If object is far away, don't use 8K or 4K textures. Also don't use roughness, specular or bump maps because you'll increase in memory and it will make renders just slower you aren't gonna get any benefit on realism with that. Every single render you make should have some kind of story in it. Weaver should know why you use this kind of lighting, why you use this camera angle and why did you put this model and well so on. Different kind of 3D fields require different kind of storytelling. For example, if you want to make an interior, viewers should know who lives in this house, how old is he or she and all characteristics of this person. People think that every scene should have a focus point, but that's not the case in some scenarios. For example, you want to render an interior, but your client wants to see how everything looks together, because at the moment client does not care about artistic perspective of the scene. I recommend you to use depth of field in most cases, because it will give you an ability to have a focus point without any distractions. It will add realism and it will give some life to the scene. For example, you can use some models like plants and put it near the camera to give a life to the scene. Also, you can put simple cube with a specific color if your scene needs that type of color and the viewer won't gonna know what is it. It will be just a color which will match the scene design. Always play with colors. This tip will be helpful for every type of scene. Don't be afraid to use colors which are not great together. People created some standards in which there are some colors which match together and some colors doesn't match. For just forget about this because it's just nonsense. Every color can look good together. You just need to make proper lighting, proper camera angle and overall good looking scene. So don't be afraid to use mismatch colors together. Also I would recommend you to use some maps which give some imperfections to the scene like dust maps. Don't be perfectionist in 3D because in the real world nothing is perfect. Every single object has its imperfections. It might be material of the object, overall shape or placement in the scene. Move your chair to the left a bit, rotate the table a bit, drop some fruit pieces near the fruit jar. Try to be unorganized but don't go crazy with this. Try to use references, it's not a scene to use other designers designs because that same designer took that design from someone else and added some changes to it. We all take something from someone else but we just don't know about it most of the time. Every single thing you create was created by someone else in the past, you just don't know about it. Well, you can create something completely new but it's harder than you expect and it happens very little often. So don't be shy to use other designers references, but don't copy everything. You must have a room for your imagination, otherwise it's just a copy and paste. Download models. At early stages of my career I used to make every single object by hand. I was losing lots of time, energy and in conclusion money. When you work on a big project, client wants to have renders ready as soon as possible, so you have to be as productive and fast as possible. 
If you start modeling very high poly sofa, table or chairs, it will take lots of time, even if you are a great modeler. Downloading models will take less time, but this will not work on every scenario. 3D industry on the internet is very big, but not as big to have every kind of model. For example, sometimes client will need a very specific type of model, well, in that case you have to model it, there is no other way around. You must have a quick access to models and textures, and best solution for this would be downloading asset managers. There are lots of asset managers, but it should be better if you choose same asset manager, which you will be provided on same websites you download models and textures from. Try to experiment a lot. Experiments will be beneficial for you because you make mistakes over and over, and it's the best way to learn new things. Also, experiments will help you achieve a specific goal you are going to. For example, if you want to get that specific type of blue color, you might be experimenting a lot and get the result you wanted. After this, you'll know how to get blue color and on the new scene, you can use this knowledge to create new colors much easier. So experiments are not a waste of time. Well, if you're working on a huge project with a tough deadline, it's not a great time for experimenting. Download as many add-ons as you can because you never know which one would be crucial at that moment on the scene. As I mentioned, Asset Manager, there are many handy add-ons which will make your life easier and overall work faster. Don't be afraid of making non-standard designs because someone should do it to make it standard. Figure out what do you want. 3D is a huge area with lots of fields inside. Arquis, character design, car design, hard surface modeling and so on. It's hard to choose one of them, so I would recommend you to get some basic information about each of them. You might like cars, you might like robots, you might like sculptures. Listen to yourself and figure out what you like and choose 3D field accordingly because at the end of the day you must enjoy the work process. If you procrastinate working and learning 3D, just forget about it. It's not yours because 3D needs a lot of time, energy and motivation to keep going and going forward. You must put your heart and soul into this if you want to achieve some progress. So if you are not as interested in 3D, just move forward and try different field of 3D. If you have same results on that new field, well, 3D is just not yours. It's not necessary to learn 3D on college or in university to be a successful 3D artist. Internet is a very good thing, so use it accordingly. Watch tutorials, check out new artists' works, read forums, there is a lot of information, you just need to check it. Always show your render to other people. It might be a friend, relative, partner or people from social media. They will help you figure out what is wrong with your scene because when you work on a project for a long time, you start missing some details and you lose focus. It's like seeing your child. You won't gonna notice how much your he has grown, but someone else who has not seen your child for a while will notice it. Always welcome critique, look at it as a free advice. Always think about being one of the best, but not the best, because it's almost impossible. In every 3D field there will be someone who is better at some aspects. There is no such thing as designer who has no weakness. Freelancing is hard, there is lots of competition. Imagine how many 3D designers are on earth. Now imagine how many companies are which hire 3D designers. Well, not as many as designers. So it's hard to stand out from the rest of the designers and also it's easier for a company to replace you. So don't put your every hope to one single company. I suggest you to work locally if you live in Europe or America. If you don't live there, prepare yourself for being one of the best. It's always hard to determine how much should you make from a project. 
Seven years I'm on this field and it's still hard for me to give client perfect price because every project is individual and there are many small details which influence price. There are many methods of determining price for project but I would suggest you to work hourly. If you don't know how much should you take in an hour, I know a website which will help you out with that. Go to freelancer.com and check out specific field you are at. Search for designers and check their portfolio so you can compare to yours and if overall skill level matches, check their wage. You must create as many accounts as you can on different websites and put out your portfolio. It's crucial if you want to be noticed. So there are a few websites I would recommend. First one would be ArtStation, second one would be Behance and third one would be an Instagram. It's not important to have 100% realistic render, it should be just beautiful because people tend to love beautiful things, not specifically realistic things. Keep in mind that it's not necessary to have perfectly realistic sky, it might be more blue than usual, sun might be more brighter than usual, your goal is to make well, realistic, but mostly beautiful render. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope you liked my tutorial. Next video will be about creating a brand new scene from start to finish.